there's never been a better time to work in data. According to U.S. News, the number of data jobs will grow 35% in the next 10 years. These are jobs that pay six figures on average. If you're looking to break into data, you might be considering a career as a data analyst versus a data scientist. To help you make the best decision for your career, I summarized everything you might want to know about these two jobs, including the pay, the requirements, the day-to-day -day responsibilities, as well as the long-term path. So make sure you watch until the very end to get the full picture. Let's look at entry-level pay for data analyst versus data scientist roles. According to Glassdoor, the average data analyst role pays about 70K per year, whereas the average data scientist role pays 100K plus per year. And for a lot of the folks watching, they might be asking themselves, hey, there's a 30K difference between entry-level salary, so why would I even consider uh, becoming a data analyst to begin with. So the reason is that the number here actually doesn't tell you the whole story. Data analysts and data scientist roles oftentimes have very different requirements. And after you consider all the educational and work experience required to be a data scientist, the salary net out to about the same for the two different job families. With that being said, let's look at the requirements for entry-level data analysts and data scientist roles. So for entry-level data analysts, you generally need a bachelor's degree and zero to two years of work experience. I know a lot of people that got data analyst jobs with just some internships. Again, 70K for someone just straight out of school, that's really not a bad salary. And now moving on to requirements for data scientists. You generally need a master's degree. Some job posting will say that they don't need a master's, but I have yet to meet a data scientist without a master's degree in real life. And in terms of experience, you need three to five years. And generally, these are time spent working as a data analyst or data engineer. Funny enough, I actually know a lot of data analysts that work while they pursue a master's part time. And then once they finish their master's, they move on to become a data scientist. So that's actually more common than you think. As you can see here, after adjusting for experience and education requirements, Entry-level pay for data analysts and data scientists are very similar. Now that we've covered pay and requirements, let's talk about the day-to-day -day responsibilities for data analysts versus data scientists. If you look at the average day of a data analyst, you're generally extracting data with SQL, then you're building reports and dashboards either in PowerPoint, Excel, or a BI tool like Tableau. And for data scientists, in addition to all the things that data analysts need to do, you need to be able to clean data and build machine learning models. I can't emphasize this enough. So in order to work in data, you need to be very comfortable with ambiguity. But if you wanna be a data scientist, you really need to be able to deal with ambiguity because oftentimes all you have to work off of is a business question that's really vague. And a lot of times this comes from your CEO or like someone in the leadership. For example, the chief marketing officer might ask you, hey, how do we segment uh, our customers better? And then it's your responsibility as the data scientist to gather the data and then figure out which machine learning model to apply to actually help the business solve that problem. Data analysts often perform analyses that immediately impact the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Data scientists often solve a very different set of problems for the company. They're often using ML to optimize existing processes. The work is very ambiguous and projects take a long time to have impact. So that's just something to keep in mind if you wanna be a data scientist. Last but not least, let's look at the long-term career path that's available to data analysts versus data scientists. So for data analysts, if you just work your way up the ladder, eventually you're gonna become a director of analytics or VP of analytics. And another popular path after working as an analyst for like two, three years is that folks sometimes uh, change their path to become a data scientist or data engineer. It really depends on what you enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually know a couple of folks that are very process and engineering oriented. So they eventually change their path to become a data engineer. And the third option is business leadership in a non-analytics role. 
This might actually surprise you a little bit, but I've seen this happen quite a bit. Someone become a data analyst and then they pull financial slash operations reports uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And over time, they gain so much business acumen from running analyses and reports, they eventually become a VP of operations and strategy somewhere. This is a very common path actually. And looking at career path for data scientists, you can obviously go into analytics leadership. Similar to a data analyst, you can become a director of data analytics and data science, or eventually a VP. And a lot of data scientists actually realize they don't enjoy the work after a couple years, and they want to build data pipelines and things of that nature. So they either become a data engineer or a data analyst, which is pretty funny. And then some folks just decide to be a senior data scientist IC and stay there forever which is also a good path because data scientist is a job family that pays you enough to take care of your family. And if you don't want to manage people and you just want to do the kind of work that a data scientist does, you always have the option as well. All in all, there is a lot of transferable skills for both roles and you definitely won't have to worry about your career path in the long term. All right, folks, that was just a quick comparison of a data analyst versus data scientist career path. For those of you that are looking to work in data, hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop it in the comments and let me know. And if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Have a good one. Take care.